All right, so I have in front of me a list of professional development resources that I've compiled. And I'm in Microsoft Word, and it all looks Word-like and stuff. And we know what happens when we copy and paste from Word directly into Blackboard. It gets all kind of funky and nothing looks right. So I want to show you how to create a document in Word that we are very familiar with and then upload it into Google Docs. And then we can copy and paste it or embed it into our Blackboard site. So here is my Word document. I'm going to come into my inbox for that's currently empty, which is amazing. So I'm in my inbox and I want to come up and find along this top search bar, there is usually a word that says documents, but I'm going to come into this more drop down menu and I'm going to find even more. And I'm going to scroll down a little bit to the home and office section, the docs area. All right, this Google Docs will be turning into Google Drive very soon. Um, and you can see I've already got some things up here. I want to share with you that we can create documents in Google Docs or we can upload them. So I'm going to go ahead and upload my document, choose my file going to go into my documents and here is my Word document. I'm just going to open it. Up here you can see my it's complete and here it is right here. Now when I open my document it looks strangely enough just like it did on my word because it doesn't have that problem with translating things. The next step I need to do is share my document. Right now it's only viewable by me and I want other people to be able to see it. So I'm going to change the privacy setting and I'm going to make this public on the web and then save it. And then I'm done. This is the link if I wanted to email a link to anybody about my document, um, but for right now I'm done. From here on out I can continue to customize this document and in order to do that I need to come up to right now it's like a PDF version, can't do anything with it. So I'm going to come up to file and I'm going to export to Google document. And it gave me that little error message and I just plugged right through it. And now you can see I have editing features here. So if I decide I want um, larger text or anything like that or pictures, I can put those in as well. But what I want to do is show you some of the other things that you can do. Like we can add color to our background page to kind of give us some differential from whatever is on Blackboard. So I'm going to make this a light blue can set our margins and our paper size and orientation. So now I've got this light blue document. It automatically saves it so we don't have to worry about that. And then the next step that I need to do is come and publish to the web. Anytime I change the Google document it's going to republish it so it's always a live document it's always going to have the most current editing features on there so I'm going to hit start publishing and OK so once again this is the link to our document and this is the embed code but before we get to the embed code at this point in time I can take all of this text I can go to edit select all edit copy I want to allow it access to my Blackboard account and then I can come back into my Blackboard. And I go ahead and save what I was working on and then I will show you what happens. I can build a content file so I can build an item. I'll name my item Professional Resources. 
and then down where we normally couldn't paste, we can now. The color won't come over, but when I submit it, and then find it at the bottom of the thing, you can see that it all works. The hyperlinks work, the text all looks the way I wanted it to look, and that is how we can copy and paste things. So we have it in Word, we update it into Google Docs, we change it over to a Google Doc, and then we copy and paste it into our Blackboard course. The next video will show you how to embed that so that we'll keep the formatting, including the blue background, while still retaining all of the links and other good things.